A-U-T-C-K. Happy Thursday, folks, and welcome back to uh, Kai Plays The Witcher 2 Assassins of Kings Enhanced Edition, the fifth installment. Now, as you may have picked up from our last segment here, and as our announcement uh, showed on Sunday Funday, we have started our newest fundraiser since uh, our last installment here. For the entire month of November, by request of our knights, we are supporting NARF, the Native American Rights Foundation. Uh, as I mentioned in uh, my Sunday segment, uh, Final Fantasy gives us the opportunity to explore a lot of interesting and fantastical ideas, uh, not the least of which is, you know, interacting with the folks who are displaced from Alamigo. Uh, but for some people living as outliers like that and having to be displaced from their land and, and find their way is not exactly a fantasy. Uh, it's not something they have to imagine. And for reasons like that, we reach out to support uh, the Native American Rights Foundation all November with our live streams as best we can. So if you're interested in supporting that, you can find information below uh, the live stream itself, or if you're watching this after the fact on YouTube, there's a link in the doobly-doo to our current Tiltify. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Now, when last we left off, we were in Flotsam having just spoken with Laredo, who is, quote, the law. Uh, we've done a little bit of uh, research on the side here. We still have a couple of things that we need to be able to pursue the Necker contract, but since it is currently evening, we're going to go ahead and look into uh, Ziggy's Fight Club here. So we have a little bit of an issue with the controls. There we go. That resolved itself. Perfect. Let's see here. Meet Ziggy in the evening. Well, it is well and proper in the evening, as it is past midnight. The question is, can Kai remember how to play since the last time he picked up the controller? The answer is uh -oh. maybe. Trouble. Ah, Ziggy. Who does King Ziggy behold? Given any thought to my proposal? I'm ready. I'll explain on the way. Your ass will soon in a minute. Now what Flotsam's famous for? Nothing. You're Make wrong way. there. The there are only two towns worth visiting in the Pontar Valley. Bondar, famous for having the most beautiful hordes in the north, and Flotsam for having the best fist fight in scene. Who organizes these fights? Officially, no one. But look hard and you'll be surprised what you can find. It's a vibrant scene with winners and losers of all kinds. I promote fighters, place them in tournaments, singled you out and venture to say you'll not regret that. Now, let's go where boys become men and brawlers become champions. The place reeks of blood. But come out standing, and you'll sense the sweet smell of orange. Just gonna say, are you actually <laughs> leading the way, or do I, do I have to push you? I in the tell you, I'm going? taking your pouch. Oh. Halt! Don't recognize King Ziggy. I know you. Who's the other one? He looks dangerous. Like all of King Ziggy's fighters. Well, that farman you brought in last time was carried out all broken in no time. This one will be different. You'll see. The Commandant himself will bet a fortune on him. All right. But if I'm to let him in, he has to leave all his weapons here. Fine. You're a rich man already. The weapons will be waiting in the trunk outside the gate. Goody, we're back in here. Laredo. In the flesh. Does he condone these fights? Condone? He sets them up. A lot of coin at stake here. I haven't been too lucky lately, but I believe you'll change that. People will remember King Ziggy. Just don't disappoint me. video game, we will be stealing everything that isn't folded down. Fine. 
Finish the fucker off! Ziggy the Clown returns. And in grand fashion. I've got a contender who's about to be famous. The Monster Slayer? How'd you talk him into fighting? And Ziggy has his ways. All in all, looks promising. We're about to make Flotsam famous for its mug fights. They'll sing songs about Ziggy and Geralt. You just win, and I'll take care of the rest. Ready? Guess so. Yeah, I'm ready. Grand. I'll hear you say my name with reverence yet. Twigs will be your first opponent. So cool because Bones snap with his every punch. I love these pussies with cocky names. Stand your ground! Let's go. Well, we're going shirtless for this one. That's how you know we mean business. Suck it to him! Finish the fucker off! Beautiful job rearranging his face. Who's next? One punch math up. Name says it all. Downs most opponents with his first punch. I'll see if I can't make him throw a second. Good luck. Stand your ground! Oh, the animations though. Finish the fucker off! Suck it to him! Every time I kick him in the gut, I'm just reminded of Jackie Chan adventures back in the day. Just hand moves faster than the eye. I should have been watching the foot. You're the discovery of my lifetime. Think we're made for each other? Indeed. But we've a long way to go. The next opponent is Smugface, also known as Tassel Dick. Not too popular then. He has tassels on his clothes. Last month, he bit his opponent's ear off. Bring on this Tassel Dick. Stand your ground! Finish the fucker off! Stand your ground! Suck it to him! Down he goes. One more, and we'll be rich and famous. Who is it? Stanek. In a rumble, it takes at least four lads to take him down. I'll do it single-handed. Don't underestimate him. Witcher, come here a minute. It's impressive technique. Thanks. Last fight's coming up, and everyone's betting on the dead cert. You. Except for me. What do you want, Lurido? Stenek has to win, but the true winners will be you and me. A third of the jackpot's yours, and that's not an offer. I see. You're a regular con. Your opinions don't interest me. You have to take a dive. That's that. Piss off, old man. Finish the fucker off! Some interesting getup he's got there. Stand your ground! Yeet. Finish the fucker off! Pay up. Here's your coin. The guards will take you to the gate. You'll regret this. I told you we'd win. I've got a real sense for these things. I think you owe me something. 
Why don't we have some fun first? A free round at every inn, not to mention the girls. You can screw my share. Two hundred orins. It's not bad. At a hundred XP to the I beat. tell him, I'm taking your pouch. Or your pouch and your life. What did he say? He said, there's a third option. Then his hand inched towards his knife. Nervy. What then? He got a bolt in the back. Too bad he turned out to be poor. The poor ones are always uppity. I would like my shirt back, please. Let's go back to armor. Astrogarus. Sounds good. I took off my gauntlets too. What is this? Well, I gotta go pick up my swords. That might help. Ha! You'd think he was faultist himself, parading among his lessers. Glad we made it. Perfect. Sort of 11 to 14. 7 to 20 with a 10 per, or 12 percent stun chance. That feels silly to me that it's even an option to fight with a dwarven hammer, but 14 to 22, the pickaxe is even stronger than the Temerian sword. Oh, okie dokie then. It's kind of enough. ridiculous. Sometimes you just gotta grit your teeth and bite back later. Guess we'll give it a whirl. <laughs> it's so dumb. Oh, alright. Let's see here. What do we got for uh, open quests? Ostmerk. Dragas, Stroll and Necker, Tunnels. Yeah, we'll focus on the Necker contract for now. Alright, we want to head east. Won't be the first time I've said this, but a sprint button would not be a miss. Now, as I recall, uh, our issue was that we didn't have a bomb suitable for dealing with the nests that we found out there. And as we checked basically all of the merchants in town, it occurs to me that Cedric mentioned being very good with traps, Wanted so we can see help that he's good with bombs as well. I think he's up here. All right, let's see. I'm looking at my own inventory. That's not going to help us very much now, is it? Conflagration trap. Karen Carapace armor reinforcements. Needs Karen skin. A Karen trap. Dancing star. Explodes with fire. Grape shot. As I recall, grape shot's the one we're looking for. Stench bulb, Zeracanian sun, blind and freeze, cloud of foul gas, psychoactive gas, 
flammable gas, poisonous gas, dancing star. Fire bombs are always a nice backup plan here. There we go. Now what we want is to craft. You don't meditate to craft, you visit a merchant. Come on, Kai. Did I not just buy a grape shot recipe? Hmm. Well, he sells grape shots, so we're just gonna roll with those for now. Take care of yourself. to equip them. So... There we go. It's now equipped. I am now carrying too much to run. That escalated quickly. What is so heavy? Quilted leather? That's certainly not light. Pickaxe. Damarian sword. A couple of extra weapons slowing us down. Well, sets of armor, too, come to think of it. Alright, well, we haven't wandered too far out to field yet. Let's, uh... Let's get rid of some of this baggage. I think also we need to deal with these? Maybe? Nope, that's not it. That's it. Maybe that's a later thing. I gotta drop something here. Or it's gonna take us forever to get back to town. Ooh. Gonna have to drop even more than the pickaxe, apparently. can we leave behind? Neat music. Honestly, I don't want to drop most of that. I think we actually 
want to sell pretty much all of it. So, I guess we'll just have to waddle our way back. Things you don't necessarily have to worry so much about in uh, The Witcher 3. You do have an encumbrance, but it's uh, it's less restrictive. Do 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 do. Come on, girl, we can do this. We're almost there. Excuse me while I wake you up in the middle of the night to sell you some things. Alright, let's see. Maybe we can get rid of that Blue Stripes combat jacket. I don't especially want that. So about half of this iron ore, I should think. half of this leather while we're at it. Leather jacket. A couple sets of quilted leather. And look at that. We are down to 169 pounds. Rusty dagger that can go. Those can go. this blackjack anymore. Demarian sword can go. Perfect. Now with a hundred pounds to work with, we might be able to get some things done. Wanted to see a vista, eh? Were there any words in that, my dude? Alright, back up the river we go. but I don't think we can do anything with it just yet.
trusty map here. Doesn't reveal a lot other than that we have traveled south along the river and it's pretty wet here. I think the sun's starting to come up though, so visibility should improve. Some more leather gauntlets. Attack the mushroom. Oh, I see an Andrea. Ow, I did not see the bear trap. How many more can there be? I'm with Carol on this one. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Oops. Another goodie that we got out here. All kinds of Indrega components. Making potions. I see, just open them and hit them. Seems easy enough to deal with. Just deal with cocoons as we're working our way through the forest looking for the rest of the necker nests. Two monsters and one silver sword, as it were. Oh no! Oh no! No no no! Oh, that hurts! Oh, 
Oh no! <laughs> ah, I think it's safe to say we found the queen. I don't know what the strat here is, but uh, I'm gonna guess don't stand in front of it. Played enough Bloodborne to know where that's going. Ticking for damage there. I also don't think this game auto saves anywhere. We're about to find out. Ziggy the Clown returns. Oh, and in grand my fashion, God. I've got a contender who's about to be famous. The kick all in oh. about. Yeah, all right. Yeah, grand twig. Spent some frustrations by beating some dudes up. And then we're just gonna have to uh, YOLO save a bunch. Sock it to him! I wouldn't mind the jank if it had any kind Stand of auto your ground. save. That's a pain point, I will admit. Suck it to him! Beauty! Finish the fucker off! Suck it to him! Finish the fucker off! Sit down, mate. You're the dis. Stand your ground! Let's go, Tassel Dick. Finish the fucker off! your ground finish the fucker off one more don't which are in thanks last one what stenica and that nice you're pissed Sock it to him! Stand your ground! Sock it to him! Finish the fucker off! Hey, uh, I told you we you back out into town we go. Let's see here, armor 7, vitality 30, 
Damage reduction for magic resistance to bleeding and poisoning. Let's see, armor with extra vitality, armor with resistance to bleeding, armor with resistance to bleeding and incineration. Nobody wants to be incinerated. I'm gonna grab this. Brings our armor total up to nine, our vitality total up to 40. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty good for right now. Alright, well, rather than just YOLO into things again here, let's, uh, go handle this properly. I tell him, I'm taking your power. too much about that right now. We're only carrying 53 pounds after all. I expected that. Want you to see a vis today? Cedric. Ah, oh, this time he has four grape shot, one for each one of the nests we need to curse blowed. Now, do I already have uh, the blueprints for conflagration? So, I want that, and also Dancing Star, and also Grape Shot. we will manual save. Once more into the fray. Okay. 
As we just kind of awkwardly wait for the music to end so we can loot. Okay, so we can't open those just yet. You know what that sound is. A lot of neckers. toast. yourself in the middle of quite that many ankle bikers. Thank you. No, all set for that. Thank you very much. One at a time, please. I play this game on Death March difficulty, and honestly, it just sounds exhausting. in the woods today. We're sure of many small surprises. Of course, after about the 50th Necker, is it really a surprise anymore? Asking the big questions here. Excuse me while I wait for my wounds to close. Let this be a lesson, video gamers. Swamps are awful. Alright. Right, now that we've survived our little brush with death, let's save. Have a look at what we have for potions. Nope. We're in combat again. Come on!
pop it onto the ground now. Get he gone, scumbag. There is no save, there is only some wolf. my waiting for things to despawn dance. Okay. What do we got for potions? Cat, lapwing, let's see. Less vitality and resistance to stuff. More vigor regeneration. And then swallow, vitality regeneration up. Seems like an overall good idea to me. Let's go ahead. No littering, Geralt. Oh, no talents to spend. Okay. We get 10 minutes of extra vitality regeneration, so let's use that to deal with the problem at hand, shall we? And we'll have every trap in the forest. Oh, oh. Love it. Alright, now last time we headed south along the river. And that took us right about where we wanted to go. Oh! Quite a few hundred I get there. How many more can there be? Single file, please, gentlemen. I saw a third one, I know I did. No 
shortage of bugs to squash in the forest. Oh, what? Oh, I see. I guess that's a good way to get rid of traps, is walk through them with Quinn. I feel like these traps are literally just here for people, because I don't think I've ever seen a monster take any damage from one. <sighs> I rest my case. Lots of traps. Oh. So, if this is um, a natural spring, and it's full of drowners, does that make it a drowning pool? Activated circle of life, and it moves us all. needed to travel this far south last time. I'm pretty sure what we did is we dealt with the drowners, right? And then we came in this direction. More or less. sure that's not how you climb with a sword, but hey, I'm not the expert. haven't we been? Well, we've actually been all down through that area. Yet I could swear last time we were tripping on Andrega cocoons.
Is that one there? I do believe it is. Several of them, in fact. Guess they'll never learn. Gross. the long con that works for me. She's just gonna parry after every second hit. Then we'll make it a big hit. Ah, here we go. Insectoid oil. <laughs> Enemy's health glitched out for a second there.
that's one of the queens dead. Where's the loot pile? There it is. Damn it. our insectoid oil is going to hold out here. stack. to me, I haven't been uh, looting these dragon embryos. Okay, through here. A lot of the proc 
approximately every Necker in the world. Wonder how many more. Oh look, more Neckers. I did say approximately. Take a half a clutch. Have to T pose to assert your dominance. Let's see. I say, what ho? Give them a good thrashing. Looted, right? Right. Let's see. Right last time. Why are we in combat? Because oh, there's one Necker running after us. That looks charming, doesn't it? Make a great vacation home. Also, we're in combat again. Is there a danger in others? Spend a skill point, shall we? I think by now we're actually allowed to go into the swordsmanship tree. I haven't actually learned how to throw daggers, because I'm a bad witcher, I guess, but I don't want to do that right now. Distance covered while dodging, plus 100%. Speed of vigor regeneration, plus 10%. Guy damage reduction five percent. What's this? Point of vigor needed to block incoming blows minus twenty five percent. Plus five percent sword damage. Ah, whirl is what we want because every time we get surrounded, we can actually only hit one target at a time, which is a bummer. Let's see, that is health. Chance of critical, health damage reduction, group finishers. 
Mm, perfect, perfect, perfect. Chance of instant kill, 2%. Love it. Well, where should we begin? Lacks the ability to counter. Reduce block costs. And damage reduction, 5. I think we're going to actually start here. Start reducing the amount of damage we take by getting poked into butt. <laughs> take two steps, find a bear trap. Welcome to Lobbin and Scrub. Another place of power. Circle of vigor. It's a vigorous circle. Take that. That's an Endrega. That's the Lego bug man. You master. Drives me mad. This cursed wood is full of scum, and that horse has lost his mind. Who might that be? The troll! For years he's been collecting tolls at the bridge, for which he's to keep the bridge tidy and drive away the scum. What's the problem then? Merchants from the port sent me to find out the what and why, seeing as this is the only path out to the port inland. But I found the bridge in ruins, and that cheeky cocksucker asked for liquor to let me pass! Across that pile of rubble, I says, and he smacks me so hard I see stars. Laredo's put a price on his head. If Laredo had his way, he'd cut us off from the world, that son of a bitch. We need a bridge, but a working one. And we need a troll, but a sober one. If you're looking to make some coin, hold off on killing the troll, and see the village chief instead. He'll tell you all you need to know. check the map. So the troll lives over here, by the broken bridge. Makes sense. Careful. I don't think there's going to be anything this far afield, but...
the thing we seem to be very efficient at finding right now is more traps. Well, alas, we are a little short on time for this evening, so perhaps with a pair of fresh eyes for our next installment, we'll find Wonder the last of the we'll cocoons, and a necker shows up to ruin our outro. Get out of here, Anyhow, perhaps with a pair of fresh eyes, uh, next installment we'll have a quicker time of locating the last of the Andraga eggs, and we can turn in our two bounties here, make some coin, do some crafting, uh, in the meantime, however, we're going to go ahead and wrap up for tonight. As I mentioned at the top of the segment, we are running uh, live streams twice per week. On Thursdays, we do Kai Plays, currently at The Witcher 2. And on Sundays, we do Sunday Fun Days. And both of these events are to draw attention to the fact that we are running a Tiltify, supporting the nonprofit NARF, that's the Native American Rights Foundation, through the entire month of November. You can find information for that below the stream or in the doobly-doo if you're watching After the Fact on YouTube. If you'd like to support TCK in a more general sense, you can spread the word, visit our social media links also available down below. And if you'd like to support us in a monetary sense, you can go ahead and visit our Patreon, and you guessed it, you can find that link in the same place as well. Until then, this is Kai signing off. May you ever walk in the light of the crystal, and we'll see you on Sunday. <laughs>